Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we're back to set up my budget planner for the month of July. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you to everybody who keep returning. Appreciate you all so, so much. Um, this downloadable printable that you see right here, that came from my Etsy shop. So Sweet Plans, S-O-O-S-W-E-E-T-P-L-A-N-S. -E -E and I always keep the information in the description box below. Now the Build Do stickers, they came from Caffeinated Cake. This is an old stash that I have and so I've been trying to use them up don't have a lot of bills but I got one more but I've had these for ever I think I want to say about two two years maybe um the light blue that is the bills that I have to pay so I have to remember to check that off and then the red that is going to be the ones that are the auto pay bills and then my debt is going to be a dark blue and those are on auto pay because that goes to my credit union and I do have one dark blue with the check box that I'm actually going to go in and that's so I can bring my car payment up to $900 a month and so you'll see on my debt tracker how I'm gonna set that up all right now time to set up my categories on my weekly check-in this just makes my weeks easier I don't have to remember to write in all the categories all I have to do is remember to set up the budgeted amount that I want to have for the upcoming week sometimes I do forget that <laughs> you guys see that on my Saturday videos but I like to go ahead and just write in all the names ahead of time and just get that part over with so that way that's like one less thing that I have to do as the month is going on and because there are five Sundays in the month of July I got a five week sheet for my weekly check-in okay so next is setting up the sinking funds sheet so what I'm going going to do or am doing is I'm going back to June and I'm looking at my categories um, from there there are some categories that I can go ahead and write in a starting balance, but there are others that I can't because June is not over. And so I don't know what that starting balance is going to be. Um, I know in the month of July, my oldest son's birthday is going to happen on July 15th. So I got, I think he wants money. I believe that's what he told me he wants money, but I need to check because he now considers himself a grill master and knowing him he may want to accessorize that thing i'm not sure so i gotta check with him just to verify and see what he wants to do but that's one expense i know i have i also have uh to pay sam's for my sam's club membership i don't know if there's a costco out here but i don't have a costco membership i've always heard good things about costco uh, but Sam's always seems to be the one that's always closer to me. Okay, so with the debt tracker, I'm going to jump right into just logging what scheduled payments I know I have. And so that total is going to come up to $900. Um, the principal only payment is going to be about $309.78 and my car payments are $295.11. And I'm not going to write in the additional payment right now because anything from YouTube is going to go to the principal and anything that I save from my June cash envelopes is going to go to the principal. So I don't know that just yet. So I want to uh, make sure I leave that open so I can put that on here. And I'm very, very interested in interest. How much interest do I pay out a month? And so I'll have a column in here and that's all it represents to me is how much I pay. I like looking like current month previous months and seeing okay how much did i pay out in interest did it go down if it go down i feel like okay that is a win for me
and that is everything so this is how it all looks of course we will go back and do the um paycheck budgets because you know i do separate videos for those and we'll close out the sinking funds together we do our weekly check-ins every saturday but thank y'all so much for watching i hope y'all have a super fantastic day and y'all stay safe hopefully there's no more storms the storms have passed <laughs> and i'll talk to you guys again on saturday bye y'all